welcome from Rome. Uh, so I am in Rome. It was unexpected rush trip, uh, which is basically sponsored by upcoming price increases. So I wanted to get my uh, birthday gift from Louis Vuitton. And I was literally tracking the uh, on the app the bag availability in Rome and Milan for like two, three weeks. And it was available, available. Then I booked the tickets like on Tuesday. And uh, after I booked it, it was available. And I think Friday morning, I realized the bag is not available in two places. It's only one place in Rome. And I'm like, oh my goodness, they are going to sell it. It's weekend, they are going to sell it. So I phoned up the customer service and I tried to get them to hold it for me. But they said they cannot hold it. They cannot do anything. So you just have to come and uh, hope for luck. And I contacted one of the sales assistant that I have in Rome, uh, but she wasn't working this weekend and she said that she cannot also put it on hold. So I was just uh, crossing fingers, the bag doesn't uh, sell out. And on top of that, the weather forecast in Iceland was horrible. It was a huge storm that was supposed to start on Saturday uh, and last all Sunday. So I was thinking that the trip is not going to even happen. But I'm here, I managed to come safely and the bag should be available in one in Rina Shanta in the shopping uh, mall. So I'm rushing there. I just got into the hotel, left my stuff, changed the clothes uh, and I'm just rushing there to uh, get the bag. <laughs> yeah, I know I am like, <laughs> I know I am a crazy shopaholic. I mean, how crazy is that to just fly to Rome to get the bag? But I'm also getting some sunshine and honestly, it's wonderful. I'm just enjoying that warm sun on my skin, which I have been missing. And really, now Iceland has a huge storm and I'm so happy that with all the rush and stress that was in the, this week to actually make it happen and to the, do the things uh, that I need to do so I can fly. I'm so happy that, you know, I came here. Like yesterday, I was about to like give up. I was like, okay, I don't have even energy. This overnight flight is horrible. Uh, but now like I got my coffee and I'm on the way to Louis Vuitton and I am so glad and thankful that I actually came So let's go and see if the bag is there because I'm just you know panicking that the app is showing something wrong or that they will sell it before I reach there So let's go and Louis Vuitton quick look around I see the new bags uh, and I personally don't like this way of making monogram what do you think and here we have the lady Pouchette Matisse East West sitting casually on the shelf and a lot of on the goes I like the creamy version actually I'm not the biggest fan of the bicolor but loving the on leather in this totally it's like a gray beige I really like that there was this Neo Noi sitting on the shelf and I always wanted to see actually this color combination with Damir Ebin and this uh, pink it's not the ballerina pink it's a different pink more warm tone and it looked really really nice uh, I did enjoy it I thought Neo Noi is bigger and when I mentioned that I like pink to the sales assistant I was presented with this capucine in pink I do like capucines but uh, honestly I don't like the price on them so I don't think I'm getting any of them anytime soon and here we are looking at relatively new bag it came out in the spring this year it's called the Marceau, Marceau bag and this bag is available in the monogram canvas and also in few colors of on leather personally I'm a big fan next I spotted this nano speedy and I was actually amazed how cute and adorable this bag is it's just really really nice and because of the bulky shape it actually can fit quite a bit I was trying it probably doesn't fit my phone uh, but otherwise it's really nice however I don't like the bicolor and monogram so maybe it comes in some other nice version and here we have the lady Pouchette Matisse East West I will just leave you here with a lot of clips of me trying the bag we all know that I actually bought the bag uh, and there is a video of unboxing and all the details so you can always go and check it out
so we are moving to Saint Laurent to have a quick look because my personal goal was to shop at the airport in Milan. tiny bucket bag really caught my attention i don't think i have seen it before and i really do like it i think the price at the time was 1390 euro and yeah i would actually consider it in the future and they also had the shilling version of this bag uh, which well i'm not a fan but if you like shilling here you go Here we have a most beautiful and perfect dusty pink bag, but unfortunately it's in suede. I cannot understand why they didn't make it in leather. Here is our seasonal shilling version of a college bag. Uh, quite cute, I would say. And this color, I think it's taupe or something like this. Very good, very nice color. Passing by Gucci, I noticed this giant monogram collection and it really did catch my attention. Especially this little mini tote, which reminds me of Louis Vuitton sac plat. It is thicker, I think, and the price was 1,150 euro, which seems like a good uh, price comparing to Louis Vuitton prices. And it also comes with two straps, with a normal and thick strap. I also wanted to have a look at this Gucci horsebit bag, which I saw on ladies on the streets wearing it crossbody, and I thought it looked so cool. It's quite big, but look really nice. What do you think? Never saw anybody talking about this bag. Of course, I could not pass by Prada and not have a look on the crystal bags. I don't have anyone on my wish list uh, because I think honestly they got too expensive. Anyway, I'm not the fan of the Clio bag. If I would go for something, it would be this mini tote. However, I'm hoping and praying they bring some more of the classic flap style one day so I can buy it. But the shine on this bag is beautiful and I noticed that actually the crystals are different than on the re-edition or this triangle uh, bag. The triangle reflects on multicolor but the um, Clio type crystals they reflect on white. And here we have a new version of the Prada re-edition in crystals. It's a periwinkle I would say, it's like a purplish blue. Very beautiful colors, very beautiful sparkle of course. However, the color is very difficult to style I think and I wasn't even tempted. Here we have some Prada canvas bags and I don't know if it's me but my first impression was like it's a bunch of inspirations from Louis Vuitton sac plat or Dior book tote. Next stop was Valentino. I wanted to see the famous pink and also some other version of this one stud bags. I actually do like them quite a lot. And here we have the absolute star of the show. This crystal bag from Valentino is really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, the light wasn't the best, uh, but the crystals are shining and the bag is much more classic and elegant compared to Prada re-edition. And it has actually uh, two ways of wearing it, or actually the strap has like adjustment that you can wear it on the shoulder, you can wear it crossbody. And the strap is removable so you can also deattach this and wear it as a just handhold evening bag beautiful and the price is 3900 euro if you want to buy and now moving on to loewe i wanted to have a look again on the puzzle bags and i'm contemplating on the size of the puzzle bag i should get and the color Unfortunately, they didn't have interesting color variations. They show me this pink, but it's like all uh, the same color. The hardware matching the color of the back, which I am not a fan of. Uh, I do like the tricolor version, but that's green, uh, the, the kind of bottle green, not my vibe. And I was also shown these bags, uh, forgot their name, but they were quite nice. And the lady was super helpful, super nice. She was taking time to show me the bags, the colors, how to wear the bags. Uh, she told me about the leathers. It was really very different service to 
some other brands and i have to say that she didn't also expected me to buy the bag she just wanted to introduce the bags and the brand to me which i really enjoyed i really enjoyed being in loewe so i'm uh, probably getting a loewe bag in some sometime next year i think and by the way these pinks both of them they are so beautiful like i i, I love both of them and a quick little look into Dior, I didn't get much footage because they told me to not record, so uh, not so much, but a few uh, eye candies anyway. I wanted to have a look on Dior, Dior book totes because I like them, would love to get one of the smaller versions and also like the Lady Dior's. Especially enjoyed this pattern, which I never can pronounce, so sorry for that. It was time for me to go back to my hotel and have a little rest. Here are my treasures and here's a little bit view of Rome on my way to hotel. In the afternoon when I was going again to Fontaine de Trevi, I stopped in Max Mara and I tried some coats. I really want to get a teddy coat one day, so I often go to Max Mara to have a look which colors they have now. Unfortunately, I haven't found my color yet. This time I did like the cream version. It's like kind of classic, I would say. And also the brown. I didn't know that the brown is camel wool and this one is more of alpaca wool and normal wool mix. So I didn't know that the teddy coat uh, is made of camel only in the beige, the brown version. And the brown version is actually growing on me. guys so welcome to the day two of my stay in Rome so today I didn't go to any luxury shopping honestly I have been very successful and very productive shopping yesterday so within one hour I walk out with two bags from Louis Vuitton yes I know so I managed to score my birthday bag and I also got one bag which is a very new release from Louis Vuitton so I'm going to do unboxing very soon so I got this and uh, well of course a plant uh, so I even didn't want to make any temptations for myself uh, today and I didn't go anywhere. I was just throwing around Rome, so I will put some clips here. So no shopping today, just being in Rome, enjoying this beautiful you know, city. Uh, and tonight I'm going to Milan and I don't need to actually be in Milan in the city, but I want to do some shopping on the airport. Uh, there is some Rome. So that's all for the vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me and that crazy luxury shopping adventure, booking your tickets one last minute and just flying to Italy to shop bags before price increase. I hope you're enjoying my crazy <laughs> shopaholic ch channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I probably have said that. You can see I'm quite excited and uh, quite crazy about shopping. Anyway, so I will finish here. Have a wonderful day and until next time take care and don't forget to enjoy your life. Bye guys!